Only one vehicle remains, the Creme de la Creme, an armoured personnel carrier that has stood the test of time and rightly deserves the number one spot. Continuing our countdown of the top 10 infantry fighting vehicles of all time. Finally, the best of the best. A vehicle that stood the test of time and rightly deserves the top spot on our list. The M113 Armoured Personnel Carrier. Manufacturer, United Defense LP. Power Plant, Detroit 212 horsepower diesel engine. Maximum speed, 68 kilometers per hour. Carrying capacity, two crew and 10 troops. Armor, 4.4 centimeters. Armament, 1.50 caliber machine gun. Range, 483 kilometers. After World War II had shown the need for an armored personnel carrier for infantry, it became obvious that a fully tracked, highly mobile, amphibious and air transportable vehicle was needed. The M113 answered all these requirements. In 1960, it entered service with the US Army. It's an armored box with treads, and so there's a lot of space that you can fill up for everything from an ambulance to an infantry vehicle to a mortar carrier to command and control, uh, nuclear biological detection, whatever you want to use it for. With the ability to carry two crew members and 10 troops at a top speed of 68 kilometers per hour over all terrain, the M113 was called into every American military hotspot. This is a classic vehicle. Um, innovation in the terms of its design, uh, the way it was built, mass production, um, it, the way it came out of uh, experiences not just in the Second World War in Korea, uh, but also had bits of, if you like, of Vietnam inserted in it as well. This is a vehicle that you cannot see any footage of any trouble spot in the world almost without coming across at least one of them. Armed with a 50 caliber machine gun, the M113 was soon entrenched in the Vietnam War. But with the escalation of that conflict, some serious problems with its aluminium armor began to show. M113 is designed to protect infantry from small arms while they're getting to and from the place where they're meant to fight. M113 is, for lightness, armored in aluminum, which means that you can protect yourself against up to 7.62 millimeter Soviet rounds, and that's about it. If you fire an RPG round at aluminum armor, you create a jet of essentially burning poison that shoots into the compartment and kills everybody inside. But with continual upgrades and refinements, including strength and armor, the M113 continued to frustrate America's enemies. A later development was the so-called uh, ACAV or Air Cavalry version when a, a rounded turret structure was constructed over the commander's cupola and a 50 caliber machine gun was mounted within it. And uh, generally it wouldn't contain any soldiers except for those on top firing the weapons. And in that role, it, it very much succeeded. Succeed it did. For over four decades, the M113 has been at the forefront of the US armed services and has proven itself across the globe, including the Middle East, Afghanistan, and Iraq. In addition to its basic personnel carrier role, the M113 has been used as a mortar carrier, command control, anti-aircraft and flamethrower vehicle. It has also been adapted to carry America's Lance and Chaparral missiles. With over 80,000 built and exports to nearly 50 countries, nothing is too much for this fighting vehicle. If you look at the world distribution of armored personnel carriers in the post-war era, you can hardly find a country in the Western world that doesn't have M113s. So much so, in fact, that second-hand M113s are still as popular today as they were, uh, what, 40 years ago when the vehicle first came into service. Despite the introduction of more modern specialized infantry vehicles like the Bradley IFV and the Humvee, the M113 is still going strong 
and will probably be one of the most widely used armored vehicles ever built. It probably will last it several decades further. And if you can say I've got a vehicle that will last, has lasted and will last somewhere in the order of 75 or 80 years, that puts it on, I think, anybody's list. So, how did the M113 score on our matrix? With over 40 years on the front lines, service length, excellent. With over 80,000 built, production rating, outstanding. Marks for innovation, high. With the ability to move 10 troops through harm's way, marks for carrying capability are also high, as is its all-terrain mobility rating. All of which puts the M113 firmly in first place on our list of the top 10 infantry fighting vehicles. So there it is, 10 personnel carriers that have changed the face of military warfare and history. But it's the M113 with over 40 years of service, an incredible production record of over 80,000 built, and the ability to be ready for action for decades to come that earns the title of the greatest infantry fighting vehicle of all time.